hello guys welcome back to youtube channel so today video is on how we can do responsive testing of the site in cypress right so be before moving forward so what is responsive testing in responsive testing basically we make sure whatever the page we have of the site should be open properly in different different viewport or you can say different different device like if i open my site in iphone all the control should be rendered properly or the image should display properly if there is any link or if there is any button their position should be maintained properly so normally how we do responsive testing so manually what we do now we just open the dev toolbar and verify the responsiveness of the site let me give me one example here suppose i have to verify the responsiveness of the site so what i will i will do I will just inspect and then just click on this toolbar device toolbar here and I can just verify how my button how my images are rendering properly or not right suppose this is in galaxy in 36640 resolution let me move to the iPhone X then I can verify in iPhone X in this way similarly if I want to verify in iPad I can verify in iPad right so suppose we have we have to test the responsiveness in 20 devices right so what i have to do i have to open if i if i want if we want to do manually what we have to do we have to insp we have to open this toolbar here and then one by one i have to verify all these uh, all in all the site in all all the devices right so this problem can be resolved with the help of there is one feature cy.viewport in cypress that i am going to demonstrate in today video okay so what are the and yes so what what, what are the problem with the manual if, if you do testing manually of the to test the responsiveness of the page it's a time consuming right because i have to open the toolbar then i have to visit all the devices that i have and one by one then i have to look and look look my all the pages how the how all the control are rendering or not properly right so what are the takeaways of this video so how we can do mobile responsive testing in with different report using cypress and an, another way i am going to explain here how we can keep our devices in json file and in json file we can just call all the devices and we can uh, verify all the pages or what are the page we have in different different viewports so let me open the visual studio here so before moving to the coding parts so this page from the cypress team here so if you see here there is a feature cy.viewport there in cypress where we can provide parameter like width and height reset orientation orientation mean like it can be landscape it can be portrait mode right so i have to test in iphone 6 so what i will do i will just type this cy.viewport my page will open in iphone 6 and we can just see the, uh, we can just see all the control there similarly we have so many preset here so we can test one by one all these all these preset all all our pages in different different devices with the help of cypress So let me quickly move to the demo part so if you see here this is one of the script so where what i am doing i am just i in before each i have mentioned this url here and what i am doing i am opening this url this automationfactory.com first in iphone 5 then iphone 4 then iphone xr and then macbook let me quickly run this test case so what it will do it will open all the uh, it will open the this this page automationfactory.com in all the viewport or you can say all the devices so here is i have in cypress runner here you can see in the left side it will drive me first for the iphone 5 then iphone 4 then iphone xr and then finally for the samsung notebook in this way what we can do whatever the device we want to do what we want to cover we can just mention here and what are the devices here you can see preset is given here we can also mention in this format also like this in this format cy.viewport with width and height right 
so let me quickly move to my script here so it's already running so here you can see first it's running iphone you can see here the 32568 right it opened my url in iphone 5 then iphone 4 then it will open in xr then in macbook air and then in finally in the samsung note here you can see here the resolution 414846 so in this way we can verify all the our pages one by one in a different different viewport so let me give me another example where i am just doing the login here you can see what i am doing here i am just opening i am keeping this url in before it and then i opening uh, i opening i, I will basically i am logging to the site in iphone 5 right now i have given iphone 5 we can give also iphone 6 7 8 whatever the uh, phone uh, iphone whatever the device we want to give you can we can give here so let me let me uh, run it again this is the test case so here you can see it will first what it will do it will first open this this url and then it will open in iphone and all the it block will run one by one first it will it will log into the site then it will search the t-shirt into the site so first it log into the site here you can see it will open in 32568 here and it is now login and and then finally searching to the t-shirt here here you can see right so here here you can see what i have done it's login into the site and then it verify few things here like order history and credit cards will be like that and finally it will search the t set right so here you can see this is the one script so now here you can see i i keep only here one iphone 5 suppose i want i want to test the same script for five or six devices what I, what i can do i can do what i can do i can keep my devices in some json file here like here you can see i keep mobile, mobile devices in my json file like xr se2 and ipad 2 and then i just call this json file here data and i am what i am doing i am just in before is i have mentioned this url and i am looping the all my devices here and what it will do it will it will log in one by one in with different different devices so let me quickly run this test case so here you can see it will now picking the data from the json so first device is my first device is iphone xr then iphone ic2 then ipad 2 so it will pick one by one here and it will run this loop for so three time it will run and three three time it will log in so first it will log in into iphone xr here you can see 414896 it log into x x1 xr so and it ha had to verify all these link here now it login into the iphone se2 here is the viewport you can see now it log, log out and then you log in it again and finally it will run into the ipad here is the ipad so so this is one of the benefit of the cypress so with using this all this command on the cy.viewport you can just pass your devices whatever you want to test and just whatever the action you want to do like here i am just very login and you can do other activity also so in this way we can do all the testing so this is all about this video so thanks for watching this video please like and subscribe thanks